Since 2016, we've been researching fish traps and other commercial harvest techniques that can passively and selectively target hatchery fish and other healthy stocks of fish while releasing all wild, potentially threatened and endangered fish completely unharmed. It's a big community revitalization project with local fishermen involved, local processors, state of Washington, and uh, Wild Fish Conservancy. We've been uh, researching this for the last couple of years, investigating bycatch survival um, and the ability of this gear to selectively harvest hatchery fish and other healthy stocks. And now we've finally been get, given the green light by the state of Washington to operate this commercially. It's a massive step forward. The open ocean, when you're bringing fish to hand, you don't know if those fish are from California, if those are BC fish or Alaska fish. Uh, there's no way to be certain which, which runs you're targeting, and it could be a weak endangered run or it could be a strong healthy run. But in an open ocean setting, you can't differentiate. When you're in a terminal fishery, like this fishery in the Columbia River, you know you're fishing Columbia River stocks, so you can manage for those stocks. You can limit your catch or increase your catch based off of the health of that population. I gill netted for a long time and that is an enjoyable fishery, but I've accepted the fact in today's era as far as federal and state regulations and endangered species and threatened species that the ways of yesteryear and old are not acceptable right now. And uh, this Columbia River has to have salmon. And these small towns have to have a commercial fishery. And right now, this is proving itself that, that this is uh, capable as far as up and down this river, as far as these traps. Our results so far have been really promising. For example, over 99% of wild Chinook salmon released from a trap survived to head back to the spawning grounds. In contrast, wild Chinook survival from a gill net is only 52%. Since survival is so poor, management currently allows the harvest and sale of all wild Chinook that potentially might be threatened or endangered. Transitioning to alternative fishing gears such as fish traps, we can dramatically increase the number of wild salmon returning to our rivers and streams. Got a hatchery coho adult. Well, just first of all, the freshness, you know, this comes out of the water and within, you know, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, he's, he's bled and iced. I butchered a lot of fish in Alaska. Um, and they said, this, these are by far the best fish I've ever done. I, I moved uh, most of the fish that, that uh, was harvested this, this summer and, and uh, response has been fantastic. Just having the story of this product, I think people are going to really connect to that. If you have a Portland consumer that's looking at a beautiful fish that was pulled out of the Columbia River, using a gear type that's going to help rebuild a resource, of course somebody is going to want to support that. And I think as, as a young fisherman, coming from the aspect of wanting to pay, maintain this fishery so that I can do it when I'm old, so that my kids could do it, in theory, you could pluck it from the trap and get it to the processor within half an hour if you really wanted to. It's just across the river. You know, from the minute it's harvested till the minute it's it's uh, processed, it's it's in slush ice. I bought my first fish off the Columbia River 40 years ago, uh, both kings and sockeye in those days, and in 45 years of being in the industry, I've never seen a better way to catch fish for quality and, and just gentleness on the fish and sustainability. 
You think this is the wave of the future? I do. I think it is. It was a wave of the past, and it worked then, and there's no reason it shouldn't work now. I do think that this is what will have to be on the river. It is one of those that's good for fishermen. It's good for fish, and it's good for coastal communities and coastal economies. It could be a major component in how we, how we do recover all of this. And I mean from California to Alaska. What, we, what we're seeing in the Columbia can be reproduced other places, and I'm anxious to see that and, and the benefits from it.